when iPhone apps started crashing by themselves for no apparent reason or cause, then it's safe to say that the problem can only be with those apps. However, if they started crashing after the most recent iOS 13.3 update, then we can assume that there's also a problem with the firmware and not just the apps. Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you what to do to fix app crashes on your iPhone after iOS 13.3. First solution, force restart your iPhone. The forced restart will be very effective if the iPhone app crashes are just due to some minor firmware related issues that have affected some apps. Or even if the problem is with the applications themselves, a forced restart will still work. This might be the only thing you need to do to fix the problem with your iPhone. Here's how it's done. Quickly press and release the volume up button, and then do the same to the volume down button. Once you release the volume down button, Press and hold the power key for 10 seconds. When the logo shows, release the power key and wait until your iPhone has finished rebooting. After the reboot, try to see if the apps still crash on your device. Second solution, reset the settings of your iPhone. If the previous solution failed to fix the problem and apps continue to crash on your iPhone, then the next thing you have to do is to reset all the settings, so that your device will be brought back to its default settings and configuration, without deleting your personal files and data. This procedure will fix the problem if it's due to some inconsistencies in the firmware. Here's how it's done. From the home screen, tap Settings. Find and tap General. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch Reset. Touch Reset All Settings. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Reset All Settings at the bottom of the screen, and then tap Reset All Settings again to confirm. Your iPhone will reboot after this, once it has finished rebooting, try to use the phone as you normally would to see if the app still won't work properly. Third Solution, Factory Reset Your iPhone. At this point, a factory reset will necessary because the app crashes might be due to some issues with the firmware. However, prior to the reset, make sure to create a copy of your important files and data because they will be deleted. When ready, follow these steps to reset your iPhone. From the home screen, tap Settings. Find and tap General. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch Reset. Tap Erase All Contents and Settings. Tap Erase Now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone again to proceed with the reset. Now enter your Apple ID's password and touch Erase to proceed with the reset. When the reset is complete, set up your iPhone as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.